Hello. For this particular episode, I invited Filipino top female model now based in New York and signed under Elite Model Management. Please welcome Yana Stantz. Ayana, how are you? Hi. I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm very well. Hindi tayo nag-abot dyan. I was there, di ba? Really? You were here? I was there um last week of August till... Okay. Oh, last week of August till oh, 1st wow. week of September. Sabi nga nila, wow. darating ka daw. Darating ka daw. Yeah. So, I actually arrived. So, beforehand, I was in London. Mm. And then, I landed in New York, September 1. Ay, so we oh, literally oh, oh, 31, I, I guess 31, 30 or 31 kami humalis. Kasi we had a show oh, in oh. Calgary pa. So, kailangan. Okay, Mag- oh, sayang. Hindi kita naubunan. Oo oh, nga, sabi nga nila eh. Ang masyadong updated. Sabi nila chat. Sabi nila, parating yeah. sila na direct. Sabi, Nako, yeah. ipaalis na kami. May show kami sa Calgary, sayang. Uh, did you get to catch up with sila chat? Yeah, yeah. We had dinner. Don't oh, that's uh, so yeah. nice. Oh, I'm jealous. Dinner. Francis. <laughs> dinner. I really? Aya. Aya. Really? I didn't yeah. know. Oo. Oh, oh, sabi nice. sila, sila nag-inform sa akin that you were coming. That's why. Anyway, Aya, for the benefit of our audience, especially the young ones, no? yung mga uh-huh. bagay, di ba? Ano, paano ka napasok sa modeling world? So get it again. <laughs> like it's actually um a lot of it has to do with you. <laughs> um so I actually I wasn't looking for it at the time. Um I was very, very lucky. So how it happened, I had one of my really good friends in high school. Um her name is Charlene that just started modeling. Yeah. Um and she was sort of um getting her feet in Manila and she's met a few directors, done maybe a few shows. Um, and I believe it was you who um, saw a picture of my friend. And then I of happened you. to be a in, picture the fi- of you. in the picture. I think picture I was just in you. the picture. Picture oh, of me, ba? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So um, a picture, you saw a picture, you came across a picture of me. So director that came across a photo of me. Um, he let my friend know to, to, get, to get us connected. 
And that's literally how it started. Um, and as like you've been involved in the industry for, for many years um, and we're heavily involved with Fashion Week. So it started there. I remember you gave me my first show when I had zero experience whatsoever. <laughs> you gave me my first show and I, I had, um, I never walked, never tried walking, but you're just like, walk <laughs> like and i'm just like okay <laughs> that was super shy but no and i remember the show was in clark um, which yeah. was in my hometown Fontana. i got to meet you then obviously my first show i would say i really did not have the best walk um but the training started from there obviously when i got to meet the record um, who introduced me to a few other people involved and i got certain castings um the training started from there so that's how it started for me but Yana, photo. Yana uh, aside from that photo thing no yeah when, when I saw it in the shop of yeah. stores did you did you want to become a model um growing up um, especially when I was in my teens mm -hmm. um when I was always quite a slit I was I was quite slender built mm -hmm. um and then I was quite tall especially as a teen so people would say oh you should model or oh, you should try going to, like, casting and stuff like that. So I never initially believed um, that I wanted to. I remember I only started thinking about it when people would say certain things like that. Um, also, I was very into to fashion magazines. Mm. So I loved Candy Magazine. And oh. as a teen, I'd always buy that. I remember wishing... I, I remember wondering what it'd be like to be on the pages of Candy Magazine. Mm -hmm. um, so it came into mind, but it's not something that I actively pursued starting off. Obviously, later on when I um, got to see the environment and the industry, I very actively pursued it. Um, but starting off, it wasn't initially on my mind. I think I was studying by, you know, I was like oh, 16, oh, 17. High school, yeah. high school. Yeah, exactly. 15 tapos, actually. Yeah. Tapos, Iyana, meron kang ano eh, may college degree ka eh, di ba? You're, you're a, you are an architecture graduate, right? O, o may college degree po yan, maganda ang course yan. Bakit pinopursue mo pa rin ang modeling despite having that diploma? Yeah. I actually get asked that a lot. Um, mm -hmm. But to be fair, like, I love architecture, and I'm very thankful for my degree. But right now, at this moment, I'm still having fun with the modeling. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so I'm having fun now. I have the opportunity now. Um, I know that the opportunity for me in modeling, we, we don't really know how long it'll be here with me. Oh, correct. correct. Um, when it comes to architecture, um, I have the knowledge. Um, I have the skills. I can always pursue it later on, especially when I'm more in a settled time in my life like if i want to like let's say be settled in work settled in buying a house somewhere or maybe starting mm -hmm. a family or something like that i can always pursue it then um but the opportunity i have now with the modeling which is like traveling meeting mm -hmm. so many people going to all these cities going to these shows even the parties yeah i think now is the best time for me like in my 20s to late oh. 30 early 30s something like that so that's why i'm i'm pursuing it now um it was still also very in my heart um i stepped back from the modeling world um when i was in australia i took some time off i was gone for a few years um but it was still on my mind and in my heart so i believe it, it's something that i still think about and something that i still love to pursue it's what I should I should be doing. So yeah, so that's why I'm doing it now. So. Oi, teka muna for the audience knowledge lang ha. Yan ay sa yeah. Pilipinas na Australia. Baka akala niyo Australia. May yeah. accent, Actually. may accent lang yan. Pero Pilipinas. <laughs> Pilipinas din niya. Nagtatagalog po ako. I was born and raised in ano, Angeles City, Pampanga. Yeah. Yan na, yan. So I'm Sige, sige. Yeah. Proceed, 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 proceed. Yeah, so I'm Filipino-Australian. My mom is Filipino. Um, and then my dad is Australian. So I am a mix. Um, but I was born and raised in the Philippines. Um, I finished all of my education in the Philippines. I would visit Australia as a teen, um, but I didn't officially move there until I was 20, 21. Until 2021 yeah, so during the pandemic? Um, till I was 20 or 21. Sorry, ah, oh, so that yes, was like yes. 2016. Sorry, yeah. 20 okay. years old, yeah. Yana, Yana, 
with all the with all the shows that you that you've done, the photo shoots that you've done, the editorial, can you cite one ano unforgettable uh, work that you did, either here in the Philippines or abroad? That's actually super hard to cite just one. And I remember I was thinking that um, when you said we were having an interview, I was like, what is, if I was to pick one, what is my favorite? I have three. Is that okay? okay go, go, three. go, go, proceed. Um, one is I've been very thankful to be quite um, in the family of Philippine Fashion Week. So just being those seasons that we had were, those were hectic, you know? Um, and I remember I was quite young. I traveled from Angeles to Manila. And when it's fashion week, it's really fashion week. You get mm-hmm. there at 7 a.m. Sometimes you do one, two, three shows in a day. You're running from one convention center to the next. Um, and this was all really fun for me. Um, but I was also very thankful that I had, I was very close to the Philippine Fashion Week family, mm-hmm. um, which is the people behind the production, um, which was mm-hmm. some of the directors um, and a lot of the models I was with in the agency. So it was like, it was a very home-like experience for me. Like, mm-hmm. yes, it was work, but it was also very home-like. So I can't, I can't take that away from my top experiences. Philippine mm-hmm. Fashion Week is definitely one of them. Um, the second one um, is, this was a lot of fun. So um, at one point in my work in the Philippines, around, let's say, 2015 when I was 20 and nearing my last year of studies, mm-hmm. um, I made to I made one of the cover girls. I was made to be one of the cover ah. girls mm-hmm. of Preview. Um and Preview um, was quite a big magazine, um, yeah. and they're a big company in general. Um, they're very followed in fashion. So the shoot was fun, but also everything, all the opportunities that was opened up to me after that um, was a full experience as well, Like which I didn't think, because obviously I was there to shoot something. And like, yeah, we wrapped up the shoot. It was fun. Um, but the team in Preview like really hyped me up. Um, they're very supportive. Um, they made me attend some parties. They made me a regular in some of their editorials as well. So the full experience, um, we even had like a big ball, which was one of my favorite experiences mm. as well. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, I'd say that was a number, another, another one. I'm trying to think of Toppy. Let me think. Um, I'm sure you're I'm being there in New York. I know this one too, actually, but it's still also new to me. Actually, yes. So this is another unforgettable um, experience. Okay, so I'll leave it to that. So these are three. Um, This would, yeah, signing here. um, I arrived. So I had a visit here in New York City um, early this this year, which was in February. Mm -hmm. Um, And then I did some castings. Um, Thankfully, I managed to get some sponsorship. Um, this time around. I've actually tried before um, and was unsuccessful with a sponsorship. This trip I had, I believe, I guess, was more of the right time for me. Um, I was in the right place, the right time with the right people. Mm -hmm. Um, So I managed to get sponsorship. And moving to New York was always a goal. Um, Not even just in modeling, just in life. Like, I just wanted Mm -hmm. to experience um, moving to New York. I feel like if anyone had the opportunity to, why would you turn it down? Just see how you find it, you know? Um, and, uh, so uh, you're, be, you're, yeah. you're even signed up with one of the world's best uh, modeling agencies, diba? Yes, thankfully, yeah. So Thank um, God. I was very excited. Um, I, I'm i signed with Elite Model Management, uh, which is a huge one um, in New York, let alone like, like globally. So thankfully, um, I met the team. They were very nice. Um, they were actually, thankfully, very mm-hmm. interested in me straight away. Um, and they were the first one I met um, over this time. So once I found out that they were happy with me, I was like, oh my gosh, yeah, let's do it. Um, I was uh, so excited. Um, I was just here in New York for a visit at that time. I was still living in London. Um, so once I found that they were happy to grant me sponsorship, I shot back to London and everything I did in London from that point on was working towards moving here. Um, so when I finally got here in the summer, um, yeah, I've, I've settled in very well. Um, it was it was definitely a moment that I am very grateful to have um, experienced and like maybe achieved. Yeah. So yeah, that's my yeah. topic. It was so hard to pick one. Oh, yeah. oh. but you know, uh, 
well, it's not easy to to enter elite, di ba? Alam mo naman na standards yan, yeah. di ba? And yeah. most of the models of elite are really a class, no? Paano? Anong feeling mo aside from the the ano? Anong feeling mo that you are hobnobbing with this top models of the world? I'm with, that I'm with elite. Um, yeah. That's a good question because it may come off like let's say with a lot of models that let's say oh they landed this contract or they landed this agency. But to be honest with myself personally, I did put a lot of hard work into it. Like a lot of hard work. I'm sure. Um, and oh, I know oh. that their standard. I know that their standard is a list. Um, mm-hmm. Even just New York in general, all of the models here are they're they're top in the world. So it's a huge competition. So. As much as yes, we we managed to get this contract and we managed to or to, to sign here. Um, it's still a work in progress, and you have to always remember to keep working on yourself. No matter how good you are, no matter if you were like a regular, like let's say in the Philippines, it's a different ball game. Even if I was still a regular in the Philippines, I'd still be working on myself consistently. Like you don't stop that. Like you have to always keep that in mind. Keep a learning mentality. Keep a student mentality. You always, yeah, you always have to aim for, yeah, being the best of yourself, really, yeah. So as much as, yay, like, um, we got these, we got these signings, we got these campaigns, um, mm-hmm. there was, there was a lot of hard work and sacrifice into it, for sure. Sure. Oh, oh lalo na po, with yeah. family, no? You have to be, you yeah. have to be away with your family because of work. Yeah, wow. yeah that too. Um, and Sila it's a, mommy. It's a tough world. Yeah, it's a tough world um, being away from home by yourself. Oh, okay. And even like, yeah, obviously the the, stand, the industry standards, um, you have to be the best of yourself as long as you're best in your, in your let's say, um, maintaining your health, your diet, your training. I, I train at least four to five times a week. Um, mm-hmm. The majority of what I eat is healthy. Um, you always have to watch your energy, which is very important. Make sure that you're spending your energy on the right things, because especially in the modeling world, you're going to be doing lots of castings. And mm-hmm. if you're absolutely depleted, you'll get to these castings and you'll be like, <laughs> oh, so oh, oh, oh so yes, you correct. really have to watch out. For and that. the measurements, no, the measurements yeah. important. Yeah, exactly. Yana, Yana, you were in the top um, echelon of modeling here in the Philippines when you were still here. And then all of a sudden, you decided to try your luck abroad. No, nag, nakapag London ka pa, di ba? May billboard ka nga sa London. Yes, yeah. Ano ba yun? Personal decision mo ba yun? To really try your luck in cities abroad? Since nasa modeling ka rin naman na, di ba? Yes. Yes, actually. I think a part of me as a person just also loves exploring. Mm. Um, in Industry-wise, obviously, um, you have I wanted to see all my opportunities. Like I, I wanted to check all my opportunities and whatever, uh, of what opportunities are best for me at the moment. That's what, I, what I'll go for. Um, so yes, I did actively pursue um, traveling abroad. Um, I did. I traveled Europe as well. Some parts of it just to check out the the scene and see, mm. see what mm. fashion's like there. Um, I visited Milan, um, which I love. Maybe one day I'll get to work there. I've done a few jobs actually, but more like fly in ones. I've never been based there. Um, London, London was sort of, I was checking it out and then I got trapped there in the pandemic. Mm. Um, so it was not a choice actually. Um, I got stuck in London over the pandemic. Um, okay. I managed to sign with a commercial agency at some point in the pandemic around like, let's say the summer of 2020. Um, so thankfully, obviously, my first year there, as anyone's year in general, was very, very slow. It was very hard. Oh. Um, but thankfully, in 2021, London started to reopen. Um, my agency there started to give me a bit more focus. Um, I had a few jobs here and there um, to the point where, thankfully, it got quite um, more consistent. Yeah, so I, oh. I actually really enjoyed London. And I learned so much just traveling all these places and like oh, even na. just checking out the industry. And yeah. then eventually, New York na, di ba? New yeah, dito din ako na uwi. Yana, anong immediate plan mo? Kung nandyan ka na eh, di ba? Dumating ka na noong September, nandyan ka na sa New York. Anong pinaka-immediate plan mo after signing up with Elite Model yes. Management? 
Yes. So um, obviously, I came here to work. Um, I came here to model. So the focus is the focus. The priority is modeling. Um, mm -hmm. So I will do what I can to invest myself in that industry here till I'm planted, till I'm consistent. I'm still very new. Um, like I said, I landed in September. It's just been um, December. When I arrived, it was actually Fashion Week, so thankfully it was very busy. Mm -hmm. um, October and the recent month, uh, my agency was uh, still currently working on, like, let's say, building my image, building my portfolio, getting my stuff together. Um, it's picked up for me as well this week, so we'll see how it goes, you know. Definitely mm -hmm. modeling is the priority, um, but I'm here also to you know, to, to learn, to accept other opportunities, to meet people, to just enjoy the city. Yeah. Yeah. So that's oh, how oh. So anyway, yeah. You're, you're an adult already, diba? So you can really go around yeah. and enjoy your life, diba? Exactly. Enjoy your life. Enjoy your life. life. Exactly. So, Yana, exactly. while enjoying life, um, paano mo nakikita yung sarili mo 10 years from now? You're, you'll be in your 30s already. Yeah. You know what? I feel like in ten years' time, because at this point I'm um I'm in my late twenties, um, mm -hmm. and I'm already very happy, and I've already done so many things that I wanted to do. So I feel like in ten years I'm probably more settled. Um, because <laughs> in my twenties, all of my twenties, I know it. I'm living in Australia. I'm living in London. I'm traveling Europe. I'm going in New York. You know stuff like that, which is all fun. Ang hirap mo ang hanapin. Can I? I just call away, one call away. Um, but yeah, I enjoy, I enjoy you know, it. You know, yeah. Yana, I didn't disturb you much because yeah. alam ko you were really ano, in discovering oh. yourself and discovering yeah. yourself in the industry. So I'm happy to note when I learned that you were going to New York and signed up with Elite, ay, ang laking tuwa ko noon. Sabi ko, talaga si Yana. Sabi ko, nasa London pa lang yun eh. May billboard doon eh. Pero now, at least as a New York and you are you are with a good agency. Thank God. Diba? Thankfully, thank you. Yana, Yana, I told you earlier that our audience is between 14 to 25. What will you tell young girls out there who would like to be who would like to be you in the future? Yeah. It's so it's so interesting to say would like to be me, but like um for any young girl, um, I know at the moment, like First thing I'd like to say, like, just take the pressure off. Like, this day and age, everything is just so, everything is so fast-paced, um, especially with social media. There's so much pressure on girls all the time. Um, and I completely understand how hard it is. And I've been through a lot of the pressure, not even from the world and from yourself. So first things first, look after yourself. Take the pressure off. Make sure you're really happy and well. Mm -hmm. um, few other things what other things can i say yeah like work hard know know what you want um set a plan work hard to achieve it um have fun along the way like the most important thing um if all else fails definitely have fun along the way oh, oh have yeah. fun lang diba ganun lang ng buhay yeah. Kailangan masaya lang tayo palagi. Exactly. Because you learn, you, you won't always win. Not even the best people, not even the best models will book everything they want. They won't. Mm -hmm. A lot of the top models have had to go through so much rejection. That is a fact. The mm -hmm. amount of rejection I've gone to, to even, even in the Philippines, I experienced so much rejection, mm -hmm. you know? So that's definitely part of it. Don't take it personally. Most important thing is that you're doing what you believe you should be doing. Um, you are very true to yourself. You'll learn from all these experiences. And like I said, at the end of the day, as long as you're enjoying and having fun, you know, you'll all learn from it. It'll lead, it'll lead you to the right places. It will definitely lead you to the right places, the right paths, um, the right work, the right agencies. If, if you stick to that. Ayan, mga baguets, ha? Learn Thank from you. Yana, di ba? Yeah. Yana, lastly, meron kang yeah. special message para sa family mo at saka sa mga friends na naiwan mo yeah. dito, na yeah. gusto, na gusto makabalita, na gusto makabalita. You. Sige, go, 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 Yana. Ano, I want to go home. <laughs> 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 not, not in a way that I want to leave New York. It's just because I've been away for so long. I've been mm. away for years. Um, so I really, I really miss you guys. I, mm -hmm. I really, really do. Um, and when I see people here or things here that remind me of home, I'm like, oh, I really, I really miss home. I miss the Philippines. I miss you. I miss the family that I have and the friends. It's definitely um, part of me. And you really realize 
how different home is and how yeah like how the philippines is especially when you are traveling all these different countries because they're all so different europe is oh, incredibly oh. different from america oh, it's oh, different yeah. from italy um so the good news is i do plan to come home for christmas maybe at some point so hopefully next year not right now because i'm still ah, okay. working, working on establishing myself here uh -oh. being planted know that i'm very very happy there's nothing to worry about uh, with me here. <laughs> uh, so yeah i miss home so i will come home i will come i'm home. sure Hopefully you miss the philippines you, yeah. you miss the philippines yeah. and don't I forget really do. to contact me when you're here huh let's catch up nandito si samantha eh magkwentuhan tayo i miss pampanga yeah, sure. already i miss pampanga I miss eh, si mami mo i'm sure mami ha tess <laughs> tess ito na ito na kausap ko si yana ngayon Sorry, yeah. in interview ko siya. Yeah, oh my gosh. Have you been to Pampanga recently? No, not, not, yet. Uh, not yet. From from the time of the pandemic, hindi pa. Kasi syempre, before yeah, strict, strict sila eh, di ba? Strict sila. And then, ngayon naman, si Tito Jinky mo medyo sick eh. So, wala akong kasamang yeah. pinupunta doon. So, wala akong yeah. kasama. So, although okay. si Teta, alam mo naman si Teta, di ba? Si Teta makulit. Yeah. Kailan ka yeah. ba yung visit kay Philip, kay Pidagi? Sabi ko ba nang this day? Oo nga, Pidagi. Oo, kayo to Philip mo. I, I, you, we have a lot to thank for kay Tito Philip mo. No? Kasi it was in his shop na nakita ko yung picture mo. Eh, di ba? Nakalagay doon yeah. sa table niya. Oh, oh. Really? Oh. Oo, oh, oh, doon sa table niya. Tapos pinatawag na kita kagad. Philip, papuntahin oh, mo ito dito si ngayon. Na. Ngayon na, ngayon na, papuntahin mo dito. And the, the rest is history. Di ba? Yeah. Di ba? So, Yana... Thank you for the time. I know it's too early there in New York. Thank you for saying yes. You want to see? It's actually, uh, it's cold. Snowing, it's, it's snowing, but it's snowing. Malapit na. Malapit it's, na. It's one degree today. One I degree Celsius. Lord. So, just na. Oh, just ko Lord. Just ko Lord. Ay, naku. Parang manipis pa nga eh. Parang manipis pa. Yun nga, may nalapa. May nalapa. May nalapa. May nalapa. I hope I hope I, I really hope I get to see you soon. I'm really planning to go home um, at some point next year, maybe mid next year. Ah, okay, so um, yes, just yes. establishing myself here for now. For I miss you guys. Oriana, Thanks for contacting me about Oriana, this, by the way. Oriana, ano, Oriana, because we have a show in New York, Irene Salud. We have a show there next year, around August, September. I will contact uh -huh. you folks para yes. lang wala. If you want to watch it, kasi alam mo naman, di naman namin afford ang inyong talent fee. <laughs> Ay, di naman ganun. But I'll, definitely, I'll definitely be around. You're too but we will, sure respect, we will respect you kasi syempre, respeto ko naman yung agency, di ba? That, di ba, yeah. you have an agency already, di naman ganun kadali yeah. yun. But uh, we will see you definitely when I go there again next year. Yeah. Okay, sige. Let's okay. keep in touch. Let's keep in touch. Ano oras na po dyan gabi na dyan? Ay, ano na? Ano oras na ba? It's 8.27 p.m. I'm glad to see you're, you're very happy and well. You look Dako, very... Dako, yun nga. Ano, wala nang wala nang love life. Ay, ano kwento dyan? Wala. Wala, wala akong love life. Zero. Mother ako din. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi ko alam. Pili ko kasi like, di ba growing up, you and Joey were like, wag ka muna mag-boyfriend. Parang medyo kinarer ko yung hindi mag-boyfriend. As in, in fairness, like, uh, when I'm more established, when I'm more established. Pati ngayon, ako wala. Di ba? Okay lang oh yun. God. Okay yeah. lang yun. Masaya okay lang ang bilang. Okay lang. Masaya naman tayo eh. Of course. Anyway, Yana, thank you and please say bye-bye to our audience. Thank you so audience. much. It was nice to catch up with you. Okay. You take, you. Bye -bye you take care. Bye-bye, Paul. Take care. Good night okay. na po, John. Good night na sa Pinas. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.